Reverend Judy Jones, pastor of Christ Memorial, United Church of Christ. You have gathered, we've gathered around today to explain our quilting group here, Quilters to a Team. We have been in existence for a long time, have a great history in this church, and would like to introduce our president, Kari Smith. Thank you. <laughs> um, we have before us a quilt we're working on um, that's uh, to be finished by September of or 09, we are, sorry. And we're having a, um, a festivity at that time and we're going to raffle it off. And uh, the person who provides us our quilt tops is Bob Schaus. Uh, Bob, can you tell us how you found this quilt top? Well, Richard and I went down to Arcola, Illinois, the Amish territory, one uh, August day, and they were having this uh, quilt fair. And so we decided to stop in and bought it, bought a couple tops, and I brought them back, and the girls decided to uh, quilt them for us. The spaghetti supper. And you, you, usually, you usually bring us back two or three and we two get Two or three, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, we got it and uh, we brought it back. And this is the latest one we have. And it's from an old, uh, using an old uh, quilts frame from the, goes back to the church about 1910. And the Amish, the Amish uh, you know, supply the stuff and I uh, buy the material and uh, do with that stuff like yes, that. Bob usually furnishes all the supplies we need even to the thread. Um, he uh, bought us thread this time and he likes to pick uh, backings for us and um, mm -hmm. so he's the artist in that regard and yeah. then we get to put put it all together the sandwich, the, the top, the batting, and the backing, which is wrapped, all of these edges are wrapped around these sticks here, which, as Bob said, these are frames are, these frames are right. uh, way, way back when from 1910. And they're stored in the church, various stored lengths. The church, There's probably yeah. a dozen or so different yeah. lengths. And over the years, we've uh, made about 10 or 20 for the church raffle. And we quilt for other people. We've done two for yeah, two, uh, two for a machine here. Yeah. yeah. We try to try to get them done, but now we're there are only two um, of us. Two regular. And, and, and with Judy, Pastor Judy quilt is a quilter, and then we have another member who joins us in the summer um, time. So, um, so we don't work very fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in the last year. Um, we did we do both of the quilts for you in the last year? One was last year and one the year before. Yeah, I think it took two years. Yeah. For, I mean, for the two quilts. Beverly, tell us about the quilts that we quilted for you. Well, they were my mother's tops. And so she, uh, what what does that mean? My mother's tops. Uh, the quilt tops. My mother. Um, Embroidered them. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. They're, they're uh, cross stitch tops, mm -hmm. and she made them. And when she couldn't do it anymore, she passed them on to me. And so we made one quilt was um, bonnets, wasn't it? Oh, that, was it a sunflower or a sunbonnet suit? No, it was a woman. Woman with a bonnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Several women with bonnets. Yeah. And and then the other one was just the cross stitch. Yeah, the cross stitch. My mother did all cross stitch tops. I think the the one with the the bonnets was what you would call a scrap quilt. She'd saved all the the pieces, pieces. from other things she'd made, and so each woman had uh, her f the faces all were the same, but the dress and that bonnet were just scraps that she put together to make it all different. And I passed them, made them, and passed them on to my kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I Have you finished the last one? Nope. Okay. <laughs> no. Good. Yeah, but, uh, 
Um, so I'm still working on mine yet. I haven't finished it yet. Well, you're making a cathedral window. A is that cathedral what window, yeah. yeah. So and that's a different, a, another style of another style of quilt uh, quilting. Mm -hmm. This one you don't need a frame. You just put on your lap and make it. Oh. It's very interesting, very time consuming. Uh, other than that, but, uh, but I enjoy working on the quilts and looking at them. When I came and here uh, almost 15 years ago, there, the, the group was about six women had shrunk. I've seen pictures uh, back in the 20s where there was a space for every woman around the quilt. There were that many of them. Mm -hmm. And they they could get a quilt done in no time. And they had old-fashioned quilting bees. And sometimes they'd meet in the homes, and sometimes they'd meet here at the church and quilt uh, for special occasions. I know when one of our quilters was having a baby, we all met over at Pearl's house without that mother, the new mother knowing. And in two days, we completed the quilt and a lot of good food and a lot of good time. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, yeah. Yeah. These, the church groups, the women in the church group provided a, a service basically for the community mm -hmm. for helping them create, the, finishing their, uh, their handiwork, their quilts, and making them into the blankets. Um, because the, the individual person would create a top and then would need help actually quilting it mm -hmm. for the most I mean, it was a faster way of doing it and this and the churches um, uh, the women would gather and would actually make a little money for the church by charging um, what was it a nickel a school or something like when that? when I started they charged 50 cents an hour for each person that worked so if oh. four people worked for four hours, they, there was a 50 cents for each one of them, yeah. and the, the money went to the church. So you could have a very large quilt done for $75. Okay. Which, yeah. In a short amount of time, yes, yeah. they were. And now, we can do the same thing, but it just takes us much longer, because of course we don't have a dozen people working at one time to quilt it. But we have done um, some fundraising projects. Um, people who have found, either found tops um, or have created tops. Um, some of them have been like baby quilt size, some of them have been uh, full size, and uh, have charged the, again, a fairly nominal fee uh, that goes to the church to actually uh, finish the quilt for them and the various quilts. But And then, of course, the other thing is doing the uh, the quilts that Bob is providing us and then um, raffling, raffling them and using that as a fundraiser also so and then wedged in between that um, we're often helping each other out by um, quilting um, mm -hmm. our own projects so and also we have uh, sometimes we have a quilt show here mm -hmm. a couple of times I think we've, we've done two or three the whole church two is loaded church. with quilts yes. That's always we, fun to see. We have them all from 1900 on up to the latest date. So some of them are really old, old, really old quilts. But we have a, we have a good time with it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot I'm of work, sure. but we have a, a good work. time with it. <laughs> we, we have and the people and us, a lot of women yeah. enjoy it. We, we'd be surprised how many men show up for the quilt shows that we have here. I think along with, with actually completing a quilt, um, We've come not completed, but grown some friendships, mm -hmm. and and gotten to meet people, people uh, that just come by to see what we're doing, and people who have over the years brought quilts in to be quilted. They remember this church and the people who did it, and it's it's a dying art, but it is an art. Mm -hmm.